Hey guys, Racy Padilla here again with Tri-Cal Superior Forge. We're back in Texas. I'm walking uh, wheat trials that we have planted here at my research facility. And this year we have one heck of a yellow rust and or stripe rust, which is the same, it's the same disease, but stripe rust infection um, that's, that's really come in early. And I just wanted to demonstrate the, uh, the invasiveness of it, how detrimental it is to select a variety that has resistance or tolerance to it. So when we're looking through here, we can actually see how how uh, bad the infection is here in Texas this year. You'll see a lot of those sporulations are still live and still moving. It's really going to affect the overall yield. Some of those varieties are going to lose 50 to 60% of their yield uh, as we progress throughout the season. But as we kind of move through here, you'll see we have a really nice, very clean line here. Again, the next to another a, a disease uh, non-resistant line, but here, here is Tricow Bighorn. Tricow Bighorn is our forage wheat, dual purpose wheat that we've actually uh, got in our lineup. And, and it's the only wheat currently we have in our lineup, but it, you can see here, it's got a lot of disease tolerances. It's really green and lush still. Um, we're, we're disease tolerant all the way down to the bottom of the canopy. So we've got a really great adult plant resistance with this particular product. So if you're looking for a non-list dual purpose uh, wheat for Central Plains all the way down to Southern Plains area, give Bighorn a try. Mm -hmm. 